Hi guys, welcome to this video about the update of the Xiaomi Mi 8 Lite international version to the new Android 9 version. So this is, I'm showing you more or less the whole procedure, how it works, if it works. Uh, if you're in the same situation, you may be thinking, yeah, is it working? Is it worth it or not? So here I have the Nova Launcher installed on top of the MI UI and I'm using, I'm living in US, United States, but I have Singapore as um, my country selected because of the face unlock. So these are the settings uh, about the phone. You can see all the details. I have the ME8 Lite. Android version 8.1 and the MIUI version is 10.2.2. Here we have all, also the model name, CPU, everything. So it's uh, just the uh, 64 gigabyte international version and we can click on system update and it switches at first. It, it says no update and then it says system update to Android 9.2. Uh, 9.0 and so I can download the update. I will stop the video a little bit to give uh, save you time Of course before uh, yeah, it, it's a little bit already too uh, far away, but um, If you haven't started the whole process, it will be a good uh, moment to think about if you have saved everything saved to the uh, Xiaomi uh, cloud or to Google Cloud or I mean go the Google Photos backup everything so before uh, you do something like that before you start system update always make sure you have backed up everything that's really really important now it has already uh, downloaded 100% I don't know how fast it will continue I post this again so after downloading everything, it says it's decrypting everything. So we we'll let this done. Okay, and the only thing I can do here is reboot now. So obviously the update ha have, uh, has not been done, of course. Probably I could return back to the main menu and still save some things if, um, yeah, if I have the idea that I haven't or you have backed up everything now it's a time to um, save everything back up everything make sure you you won't lose anything if the update fails that's really important if you are sure you have updated everything uh, in the cloud or on a SD card or so then you click on reboot now as I'm doing it now So it comes up now with the uh, MI thing uh, and it's saying updating uh, MI UI don't turn off and so on. Um, you won't be able to turn on your device if you try to whatever, if you try to, what does it say? Doesn't <laughs> if you try to reboot it, okay. So uh, you have to make sure, I mean, before you do that, that you have enough battery, but I'm pretty sure that uh, the phone itself will check. Uh, it will probably only allow the update if you have enough battery. So I let it run for some time. So a little bit missed that uh, when it came to 100%, but it took me about um, two minutes till here. Okay, and this is about, I would say, four minutes later. And it, uh, yeah, it brought up the home screen, but it didn't, uh, yeah, works with a face detection uh, I try this once again so yeah like usually it, it it wants the password before it works with the face detection so I will enter the um, the code now so I entered the code now and it looks everything almost the same 
Um, yeah, updated MIUI successfully. Maybe I can click right away on that and it says uh, MIUI 10.2.0. I don't see, uh, I mean, there's not a new number, it's the same number as it had, uh, as we had be, have had before. So, but let's go to the settings page and click on about phone and we check the Android version and see that it says the nine and then a long number. I don't know what it means, but we are definitely on Android nine, but I don't see a change in the MIUI version, but uh, I, I think, uh, I mean, there's no need. There's there's no need actually for uh, that to do the because it it it's already good. So um, yeah, I don't see any major change apart from that. Everything looking really good. Um, it's everything uh, here again, which what I had. Also the Nova Lounger, so there's no need to uh, uninstall the Lounger um, before or something like that. So it looks like it can really good handle the Lounger. It, it's updating everything in the back and keep everything uh, here. Or also the apps, you don't have to reinstall apps or something like that. So takes some time to load the app but uh, looks like it's working and I have connection to um, yeah wireless at least the wireless it's a little bit struggling with the 2G but anyway we are in a in an area where we have really low um, 2 or 3 or 4G reception so uh, yeah probably no change uh, regarding that and yeah, uh, I can't remember how much space I had. I think we had a little bit more, so maybe the system update, it consumed a little bit of storage. Maybe you, you can check back in the video when you see, when you, when you're at that point, just scroll back to the start of the video and we'll see how much storage it was left. Maybe it was seven. Uh, 27.5 uh yeah maybe it consumed uh, 0 0.5 gigabytes or something like that and as you see ba battery is still really high but battery usually it, it, it's it's never a problem with the show me m i8 uh, mi 8 light uh, it has a really good uh, battery runtime so usually with two hours of usage i end up with about 70 percent uh, when, when I um, stop this when going to bed so that's really good yeah um, seems no big deal hope it will be the same for you too hassle free um, yeah so if you have any questions or comments just write to the comment section below and I'm always happy to talk about these things and if you like the video give me a thumbs up subscribe my channel thanks for watching and see you next time